My name is Faker, coming at you with another Legends of Runeterra video or something of the kind. This is going to be the first official this week in Runeterra, a new video concept, a new style of video I wanted to really try out and see how it goes, where I break down everything happening in Runeterra in the past week, roughly. Everything you need to know about news, meta decks, cool decks, new decks, things happening in the esports world. I hope to try and bring all the, all the relative in information plus anything miscellaneous that might interest you and just have a place where you guys can like gather all the information into one spot and make it easier for you guys so you know what's happening and if there's anything important that you need to know. And the first thing I want to break down is another another jinx bug uh shout outs to cephalopod for sharing this clip the quality is going to be a little bit awkward but basically what's happening here is that there's another bug with the jinx for anybody who wasn't aware there was a bug with jinx where for a period of time she was able to get multiple rockets i'm not going to say how it's done because it's gone now and if it was still happening for whatever reason i wouldn't want people to abuse it this video is live i'm not in whatever reason you know wanting you to do this so please don't but basically if jinx is hushed coming into the end of the turn she's gonna gather a rocket so that's a little bit broken right i hope you guys can see this i hope hopefully they fix this again immediately because we don't want to see game breaking bug, uh, bugs especially with a tournament just around the corner so yeah be mindful of that one guys and hopefully if you run into an extra rocket in your hand you can be humble enough to let that rocket uh, leave the atmosphere. So the next, the next thing I want to bring up with you guys is a couple of uh, news articles on the Legends of Runeterra website itself. Actually, in relative information to the seasonal tournaments, we basically have like a global player policy. This is just going to be like a whole bunch of information about, you know. Uh, how it's going to work if you, like especially what's most relevant in this part is like the region and what for example like where you live and what you play on and what shard you should be on and it's really interesting to note for any australian players out there who may have been wondering australia and new zealand specifically are actually a part of the americas uh residential shard so very important to note you'll also see like for example asia is going to be south korea and japan southeast asia is going to be these countries as listed and then there's also some other countries and territories, which is kind of interesting. Lots of relative information here. Um, if anybody was wondering about anything, it's there's a lot of stuff here, guys. So if you take the time to read it, which I didn't, I'm not saying to read it all, but if you're looking for anything specific, it should be mentioned down there. We also have what's more importantly is a Monuments Power tournament schedule and broadcast. This has all the relative information that you need for any player who is competing in the tournament, the time frames, the sign in, the rough schedule breakdown. And then if we scroll down a bit further, it shows every, anywhere and everywhere tournaments on each server shard and everything is going to be broadcast so this is fantastic there is some information here that is not uh yet it's yet to be uh concluded which is like going to be like casters and hosts and stuff but in general you'll be able to see like what twitch place you can go to watch it etc or some of them are on facebook i've noticed as well but yeah anything you need to know english broadcasters non-english broadcasters it's all being covered here which is really fantastic and if for anybody competing in the tournament all of your information is here i will leave the links to these two articles in the description alternatively just go to play uh, play room terror news so you can break it down uh, i will just say quickly sign ins open december 6 at 12 p.m pt time for america's uh for asia it's jst at 4 p.m for europe it is uh cet 12 p.m and then for southeast asia it's 11 sst the next topic we're going to talk about today is the uh what's happening in the masters europe so far i mean there's actually a website i've actually managed to find that has all the relative information about it so i'll leave a link down if you want to go check this out yourself it has information about the tournament the participants the prizes and stuff it also has information about the group stage you know it has all the scoreboards and stuff so let's go through this there's four groups in the masters europe at the moment all still battling it out some teams are guaranteed not to make it some teams are let's break that down right now and the first group i want to talk about now is group one, Spain, Romania, and Croatia. So a lot of these group stages, I'm pretty sure only have one more match left to play, if I'm not mistaken. 
correct me if I'm wrong as I go through this I might realize what's happening but I'm pretty sure um, judging by the amount of games that have been played for these teams there's probably going to be one more game left for this group at least so Spain and Romania have pretty much uh, guaranteed not guaranteed but they've guaranteed at least a tiebreaker to get it out of this group because if we look at the matches that are going to be played out the final matches we have is Spain versus Belgium and Romania versus Croatia so basically Belgium and Croatia are fighting for their spot for at least a tiebreaker doesn't mean they're going to guarantee getting out and uh, if for whatever reason Spain or Romania beat either Croatia or Belgium they will be knocked out no tiebreak is needed so still a very close group and anything can happen and with the beauty of tiebreakers there's a chance that Spain and Romania both might not even make it out this group is still very much alive but it's important today that Croatia and Belgium pick up their wins otherwise they'll be guaranteed out and if for whatever reason Croatia or Belgium do not pick up a win against their respective opponents forgive me if I've already forgotten but if Spain or Romania win today against their matchup they'll be guaranteed to get out if they both win no tiebreakers but yeah there's it's going to be a, a fun and exciting group and the last matches are going to be played out tonight actually let's take a quick look at group two so group two we have Portugal sitting on a three uh three wins this group again is still very much alive uh, let's just go double check what kind of matches we have left over so we do have Poland versus Portugal so at this point Poland and Portugal one of them is going to get out of the group stage and make it to the, the knockout stage because they are facing off tonight so whoever wins that is guaranteed to get out which means that whoever wins between Russia and La uh, Latvia sorry if pronounce me if I'm wrong which are facing off today one of these two teams won't make it and then they are going to play the tiebreaker against the other team to try and get out so three of these teams still have the potential to get out uh, one of these teams is or well, they all have the potential to get out at the moment but with the matches that are currently at hand two of them are guaranteed to be either one of them is guaranteed to get out and one of them is guaranteed not to get out the next group we have is France, Austria, Italy, and Bulgaria. Bulgaria, unfortunately, with that score, they've pretty much lost their chance of getting out, unfortunately. So GG, France, with that score, is pretty much guaranteed to get out. Now, between Austria and Italy, if we check out the matches, Italy indeed has to play Austria. So that's going to be the exciting match between these two. And the, the game between France and Bulgaria won't mean too much. This is going to be for fun. But Austria and Italy, Italy needs to win to then at least do a tiebreaker and then they have to win again to make that spot. So that's going to be a very exciting game between them. Hopefully, maybe Italy wins and forces a tiebreaker and we get some more matches. That'll be fun and exciting. And then the final group we have is going to be Germany, Czechia, UK and Norway. Norway, unfortunately, with a score, no chance of getting out. Um, G uh, Germany and Czechia pretty much guarantee their spots out. At this point, this group is pretty much settled. The matches that will be happening today this is mostly going to be for fun so uh gg to uh germany and Czechia. the next topic i want to briefly discuss is this going to be an update on uh the masters ranked ladder across every respective region i think this is something i, I would like to add in so everybody's aware of how many players are in masters and who's kind of like on top of the leaderboard to show them a bit of you know and you know, reward them a bit by kind of highlighting their performance and whatnot i don't want to go into too much detail about each individual player but we'll go across each region we'll talk about top players and then how many respective masters are on that region a lot of people would like to be qualifying for these seasonal tournaments so and just in case you know you've forgotten to play recently maybe you think you're sitting comfortably but boom uh with the amount of masters players there are now i will say that if you're not sitting above 700 you're not going to qualify and there's over 700 master players on each region uh patel is uh rank one on masters on na I play on NA, I see a Pato quite a lot, and he's always well above the rest in terms of the LP. And then you have the rest of the top 10 here. Tilred, Sultai, uh, round out your top three for the NA region. And the total amount of Masters players on NA as of right now is 864. So at the moment, you know, don't feel too comfortable if you're sitting down there with a low amount of LP and you want to qualify for this tournament, you need to start playing. Best of luck to anybody who's trying to qualify. Now, my experience and knowledge is quite comfortable in the NA region, but let's go across and see what's happening. We have Game Breaker, who I'm pretty sure is playing in the Masters Europe Tour. He's uh, sitting rank one on the European server right now, as well as Noatix second, and Broken Ball, who I'm pretty sure is also playing in the Europe Tour. 
at uh, making up the top three. And the amount of Masters players in Europe is about 855. Again, for anybody who's trying to qualify for the seasonal tournament, and you might be sitting below that number or around that number. Time to start getting a move on. So we have Asia. And the amount of play, um, Masters players in Asia is only 331. So this possibly means that there's going to be quite a lot of people being invited to the tournament who might not be Masters by the time we get around to it. Uh, kind of funny that we see Till Red there too. He plays on NA and Asia, which is good. So Till Red can qualify. And uh, what's kind of ridiculous here is that we have JO1, who's rank one and rank two. This guy's crazy. <laughs> and then Pisukaru will be sitting on rank three. So yeah, if you're from Asia, um, I'm not sure what the numbers are going to be in terms of like from diamond below. But you know, if you're close to Masters, I don't feel too stressed, but maybe trying to make that push again into Masters, you'll feel pretty comfortable once you reach Masters that you'll qualify for the tournament, at least in Asia. And then we have Southeast Asia, Artify, Rank 1, Fia, The Wings, and Sakuing, sorry, pronunciation, pronunciation makes up your top three, and the total amount of Masters players for Southeast Asia is 331. I'm not sure if Asia, Asia and Southeast Asia actually share the same ranked ladder because the number is very much identical there might be a glitch here but the names are different so i'm just going to assume that it's kind of unironically very close yeah i think it's also time for deck of the week deck of the week i'm going to be sharing a mono targon list by glop i'd also played with a similar concept not quite as interesting as this one though i think with the recent buff to eclipse dragon Adding it into a Leona deck was kind of an interesting decision to be made. Uh, this is Glop's list. I think he may have used this in a fight night as of recently. It just looks very cool. I, I I keep hearing it coming up in my chat. People are talking about Mono Targon's pretty pog. Mono Targon's pretty pog. I'm like, are we talking about the list I used to play? Because it wasn't that good. This list looks really pog. I You know, this is made by Glop. Whether or not it's the original creator or if you talk with others or other people had the same idea. It is what it is. Uh, the Skies Descend being naturally run on a list, it gets me quite excited and it makes a lot of sense with a lot of dragons, a lot of cheap invoking with Mountain Scryer and just a pure Targon Madness. Very cool deck, it could be competitively viable too. Uh, some of the lists I share week to week, some of them may not be as competitive as others but this was definitely a very cool concept, one that I've played with and found a bit of success with actually, 81% win rate on my own Targon list. Not the same as this, but still quite competitive. So yeah, GG Glop, cool list. Clip of the week, Legends of Runezera. We have the biggest misplay in the group stage as the title. Rumble, slow speed, so Let's have a case. On fast, so I think with, with the answers you might expect from deep, I think it's definitely correct to play Concerted Strike here. Yeah. Go for the <laughs> Hail Mary, kill the Abyss. Oh, oh no. no. As a, yeah, okay. Oh no. All right, for Can anybody who doesn't understand what's happening here, um team norway has gone for a concerted strike with a screeching dragon and fiora i'm assuming fiora is close to winning the game so they're trying to get the flip here in the win condition but it looks like the screeching dragon targeting the abyssal eye first means that the uh fiora is indeed not going to get the, the kill they did it the wrong way i don't think it's the wrong way the it's just the wrong the play human. so fiora is not yeah doing anything here Oh my god, and uh, you guys cannot see our caster cameras, but we're all like arms up and like shock and awe, mouth wide open. Oh no. This could have been the game winning play. And Was that team Norway, sorry? Wow. I don't know the flag. Team Norway. It is. Mechanical, this is, this is something that I think we can very clearly say was a very clear mechanical I guess it goes misplay. to show, it even at the highest level of play, misplays can still be made by top tier players, so pay attention, stay hydrated. Well, there you have it, guys. The first official this week in Rune Terra. I do hope you enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun doing this. It was quite fun to, you know, think of a new idea, share something cool with you guys. And hopefully, you know, I also could have made this quite a useful video for a lot of people. Uh, having to find out everything happening in Rune Terra can be quite overwhelming sometimes. And I think having a place where you can come to, where you can find everything you need to know in one video, Sounds like a fantastic idea to me and it's something I would enjoy watching going into the future myself. But if you have any topics you would like to be brought up in these videos or anything else you would like to see added into this video or perhaps taken out, please, I need you to get into the comments and 
you leave your feedback and tell me what you'd like to see more of or less of I'll leave a like subscribe if you're new here it all helps it helps out tremendously thank you guys always for the support and um i'll see you next week in a this week in runeterra i guess the days might change it might not be consistently on the dot but this is something i hope works out see you guys soon